Hey there boys and girls, like so Flaky here and welcome back to another Battlefield video. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about Battlefield Hardline versus Battlefield 4. And the reason why I'm doing this is because many of you guys have been asking me if I do think that Battlefield Hardline is dead and if I will return to Battlefield 4. So not just me, but also in the community many people have been discussing that, have been thinking about it, talking about it, what is up with Hardline, what's up with Battlefield 4. And again, this is mainly regarding YouTube, because of course this is a YouTube channel and blah blah blah, YouTube gameplay. So it doesn't really matter what I do play or like more privately most of the time. So, um, to get things started, I do not think that Hardline is dead at all. If we compare the player, like the relative players that are actually playing the game, we get, we get about 80 people of Hardline, but it's 80% of the people that bought Hardline actually are still playing Hardline actively, while Battlefield 4 having only about 10 to 15 people still actively playing that game. Of course, Battlefield 4 has been out quite a bit now, uh, quite a bit longer, especially than Hardline, and this ma naturally means that a lot less people will be playing it compared to launch. The problem lies Looks within like the, the fact one. that in Hardline a lot less people bought, uh, like had actually bought the game. I think it's around 3 or 5 million copies, something like that, and Battlefield 4 had something like 20 or 25 million. So again, the numbers are going... <laughs> they're, they're just huge, the gap is huge. Which of course means that um, a lot less people have, or better, there will be a lot less potential t for people to actually show hardline gameplay, because actually so, like, few people are still, are actually playing hardline compared to Battlefield 4, but um, what am I talking? Actually, the, the people playing Hardline and the people playing Battlefield 4 are about the same right now. Which is kind of a problem if you again consider that Hardline has just been out a couple of weeks, months, I actually cannot even remember the release date, and Battlefield 4 has been out for over a year. Again, this actually would mean, and if I just go by the views, that people right now are still a lot more interested in Battlefield 4. Of course, reasons for that is Battlefield Hardline has not been sold during the holiday season, it has a really hard time being the game or after Battlefield 4 because the reputation has been damaged to into oblivion once again. And our factor is of course Hardline is a spin-off. It takes another like approach to the whole Battlefield franchise. It just got a like it's a cops and robbers game with a touch of Battlefield. You don't get the, the big military tank and jets and like military warfare. It's it's cops and robbers. So it is something different, which again already cuts the, the player base in half together with all the other problems and issues we had with Battlefield 4 and people are disappointing in the Battlefield franchise in total. Again cuts the player base in half and then again the whole easy season um, which well Hotline was not sold in but I think in early March. Um, it was another problem of people having not as much interest in Battlefield Hardline, especially since Battlefront is almost around the corner, like around two or three corners at the end of this year. People, or many people actually just saying like, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for, uh, for Battlefront, I'm not gonna pick up Hardline. This again from a again from a YouTube's perspective does not actually or better just better said from, from a game's perspective, sorry I'm stuttering terribly right now, does not actually mean that Hardline is dead in, in any way. It's again the player base is very active, it's just that the player base is small. And it's not that, definitely not. It's just having a hard time and the the community has really been torn apart. If I go back and remember the Battlefield 3 community with Project PDFO and all the YouTubers playing together, it was a really great time. And Battlefield 4 really kind of gave everything a, a toxic spin and split the community. And again, I'm, I'm just rambling on again about the fact that many problems have been there and the, the factors have not been very, um, well, very, not, what's the word, very advantageous for Hardline. And I guess that's why it's having a hard time. For me personally, I still do like to play it. I have a lot more fun playing Hardline than I have in Battlefield 4 because I still think Battlefield 4 right now is not in a stage where it actually is top-notch playable. It's it's becoming playable slowly. And again, Hardline is a little bit kind of retarded-ish with driving around couches and stuff. And But it, it, it can be fun and the, the gameplay itself is actually not that big of a deal. Like the, the problems that it has, it's not that big of a deal, at least for me. But once again, um, 
I do think, nonetheless, that Hardline might pull a Titanfall on us, which again means Titanfall, same thing, beta was great, everyone had such a blast playing the game, um, game came out, everyone had the fun for like the first week, the second, and it slowly kind of died off, like actually not slowly, but very quickly died off. And I have a feeling that Hardline will have or share the same fate as, as um, Titanfall did. So yeah, right now, this is my take on it. I do not think Hardline is dead, I just think it has a smaller player base. Partly the reason being, again, it's not the normal Battlefield and Battlefield 4 was kind of a hot fit. Like, being the game after Battlefield 4 is just hard. But I, again, I would love to hear you guys' opinion in the comment section down below. And we, I don't know, like, like in the good old days, get a discussion, get it started, and let's talk about that. But yeah, I think it's pretty much all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and like a skill faker out.